Hey, what's up? It's Hobart. Welcome to Android University. Been down and out, had a uh, grandmother die out of state, had to go to her funeral, and actually came back with type A flu, so I've been battling that. But lots has been going on for the Galaxy S3. Been watching the threads, flashing ROMs, and ready to go. This one is Hyperdrive RLS3 by Sbreen94. This one's got a lot of Galaxy Note 2 stuff in it. So if you like the Galaxy Note 2 apps or the Galaxy Note 2 and you don't have one of the devices, uh, you can use some of the apps on this ROM here, and they're all working pretty good. Uh, let's kind of go down the uh, the uh, feature feature list of this ROM. The VZW bloat has been removed. This is based off of the over-the-air update VRBLK3. It's got 360 rotation enabled, 8 lock screen choices, a lot of Galaxy Note 2 applications, HD screen. It's anti-aliasing, which I'll talk about here in a little bit, which makes it look a little bit more HD. And some cleanup and things done. This is definitely a daily driver if you wanted to uh, to flash it onto your phone. Let's go into the settings menu and see what we're working with here first. We always go and check 4.1.1 VRBLK3 baseband. I'm running the stock kernel, so nothing overclocking, no uh, undervolting going on yet. And uh, Hyperdrive RLS3 by Esprit 94. So that's what's going on there, okay? Let's go back out to the home screen here. You can see it's a beautiful ROM. It does come with a whole bunch of stuff. The 5x5 app drawer, which we can check right here. You can see. So you you can put more apps on your screen. 360 rotation is enabled as well. You got eight lock screens to choose from. If I click on settings, you're going to go into lock screens and you're going to choose lock screen options and choose your lock screen. Now, the uh, Acer Cloud, the GS3, the BlackBerry, AOSP, and the LG are working fine. The Xperia and the HTC Sense are still uh, being worked out a little bit, but should be working. Otherwise, have a lot of fun. The one that I like the most is the Acer Cloud. Uh, let's put on that one there, and we'll turn the lock screen. This one here is just black, and it shows your time and your weather, but if you touch it, it opens up to your lock screen wallpaper and then, of course, unlocks your phone. One more time. Touch it, and it opens and unlocks your phone. That is the Acer. Now, we'll go back into this, and the BlackBerry one is pretty cool as well. I kind of like the BlackBerry 10. Uh, let's go show you this one. This one's kind of like a shadow, so you can see my wallpaper behind it, uh, and as I move this up and down, you can see how the shadow kind of moves around with my finger as I go up and down. So if you wanted to unlock this, you just pull the lampshade up in a way, and uh, it opens up. So uh, that's a couple of the lock screens. You can play with the rest of them on your own there. Some of the other apps, you do have Galaxy Note 2 applications, including the camera and gallery. If you do check here, you do have both of them. This is the Galaxy Note 2 camera and the Galaxy Note 2 gallery, which you can see has these cool features. I like this one, and of course... I like the spiral run as well, but the uh, Galaxy Note 2 camera and gallery are uh, included in this. Now, the 4.2 camera and gallery are also included in this, complete with Photosphere. So if you wanted to use Photosphere, it does work on here. works pretty well, so uh, definitely don't have to flash the extra zip file that you've already got in your SD card like I do. It automatically comes with it. So there you go. Some of the other Note 2 stuff. we got the headphone shortcuts, pop-up browser, three different sizes on this baby. You do have the pop-up browser, which you can see in the... Let's see here. We'll get the P. Um, there it is. Pop-up browser. Uh, so the pop-up browser is there, and it does work great. That's, like I said, in three different sizes. Uh, Paper Artist is also included in here. And going to the S apps here, Paper Artist, S Planner, S Memo, S Note, S Suggest, and S Voice, all from the Galaxy Note 2. you got Galaxy Note 2 wallpapers as well, um, and your sounds are Galaxy Note 2. So your notifications and your ringtones, Galaxy Note 2, which they're really cool, and there's a few different ones from the uh, Samsung Galaxy S3, so definitely uh, a very cool addition there. 4.2. We're talking about YouTube. The uh, clock, the alarm clock is here, fully functional with the uh, clock widget, as you see on the screen. Gmail, Maps, uh, the keyboard is also included as well. So you have the 4.2 keyboard and the Galaxy Note 2 keyboard, which has those cool numbers on the top here. Let's see if I go into... Um Google Chrome here, you'll see that I do have the numbers that come right up on here on the top of the screen. That is from the Galaxy Note 2, and that is the keyboard included in here. Now, anti-aliasing, that's something new that you might not have heard of. They're saying that they're making your screen look a little bit more HD and tweaking it a little bit. I did a little reading on it, and from what I can understand, anti-aliasing, uh, if you look really close at your screen, there's jagged edges on it. Now, you might have to use a microscope, but around the edges of the pictures and the icons and stuff, it's jagged. So what this does 
does is it actually smooths out those edges to try to make the screen look a little bit more HD and things a little bit clearer. Now this is done on a, like a microscopic level so it's nothing you can really see with the naked eye except when it's done it supposedly makes it look a little bit more HD. So that's what the HD screen or the anti-aliasing is, is from what I can understand and from what I can read. So now you understand, okay? Uh, overall it's a great ROM. If we go over to the uh, GPS we'll see if GPS works and locks on them inside uh, as it resets itself here. Bam, we're locked on in just seconds. 11, 15 out of 19. So GPS works great. I checked GPS maps and we are uh, Google Maps and we are in the right location as well. So you don't have to worry about it showing you North Carolina when you live in Virginia like me and so on and so forth. Okay. Uh, going to the notification pull down menu, you can see it looks just like a normal uh, stock TouchWiz ROM. You do have all your toggles though up here, which is pretty nice. So you can uh, use them. And of course your brightness slider, which is one of my favorite things. Um, trying to get rid of that. I have to go into settings to do that. No big deal. Um, but yeah, overall a great ROM. Definitely worth trying. If you haven't played with it yet, it's worth downloading. This is from Esprit 94 Hyperdrive RLS3. It's got lots and lots and lots of Galaxy Note 2 stuff in it. Happy 420, by the way. And I am not using any kind of a custom kernel, so I'm not able to overclock or undervolt. So you see I am at max 151 gigahertz. But of course, you can flash any other TouchWiz Jelly Bean kernel that you want to. Uh, and you can do your overclocking and undervolting and all that fun stuff as well. Okay. Overall, a great ROM. Definitely worth trying. Uh, you, I'll put the link in the description over on XDA. I'll put it in my description so you can just click on it, go right to the forum there, and download it for your phone. It's Hyperdrive RLS3 by Sbreen94 for the Samsung Galaxy S3 on Verizon. Definitely worth giving a try. Eight lock screens to choose from, a bunch of Galaxy Note 2 stuff, HD screen, anti-aliasing, and it's 420. So hey, go celebrate. Thanks for watching today. Check out my other videos over at Android University at YouTube.com. And I'm on to make my next video. Peace.